Hey, this is Ryan again, and Ryan's kind of stuff. It's been about like uh, like six months since I've uploaded an actual useful video for you guys. And I was thinking, since I've had a pretty good uh, run with the how-tos, I've had, I have about 21,000 hits on my Cracked Apps video. I was thinking of doing one more kind of, um, well, one more, just for now, another rather, um, frowned upon by the entertainment industry video. I was thinking of doing a, um, doing the, uh, how to copy a DVD video. I've been asked a lot if I can make one, since basically everybody who knows me, uh, knows that I'm infamous for, uh, uh, getting things for lesser price, I guess you can say. Um, I, I'm thinking of making as well a video game, copy one specifically for the Xbox. But for now, we're stick with the DVDs. So, how do you take an original DVD, burn it to your computer, copy it to your computer, and burn it back onto a DVD to play on your DVD drive? Basically copying it. Now, it's legal to do this if you actually own the DVD. It's called backing up the original, red original DVD in case, for instance, uh, your house burns down and you need to burn it. You can put the little ISO image of the DVD, which is the copy DVD file, on your hard drive and burn it whenever you have, you know, a catastrophe like that happen. The original DVD breaks. So, uh, let's get started. Let's, um, I'm going to take this, uh, let's go pick a DVD wipe. So what do we want? Do we want action, a comedy, or drama or thriller? Let's go for the action. These are all action ones. Each DVD binder holds about uh, all full of DVDs. As you can see, I have my uh, personal collection here of uh, pirated merchandise. Let's find an original film that we can copy. See how about um, let's go with Constantine. Because see, for instance, here, here in Argentina, uh, you think I don't think it's illegal to copy a DVD, but it's really frowned upon. Like um, like all these here, I copied most of them myself personally, but I, you can also rent them in a store a copy DVD, for instance. Or buy them. For instance, like um, I bought this one here. See, so it's not my handwriting. And like, if I go down here, I bought this one. And these are all these are all pirated ones. Some of them are original. Like this is an original DVD, and this is a copy one that I could buy here. But anyway, yeah, Constantine. Let's take this back to the the office. All right now we're back. So you want to put this onto this. Now, in case you haven't noticed. Uh, how an original DVD looks. It's always like a gold back like this, and a copy DVD or copy disc usually has purple. It's a DVD has the purple looking back like this. Now, before we get started, um, I want to point something out. There's two kinds of DVDs, three kinds, but two kinds are used nowadays: DVD plus R and DVD minus R. This here is a DVD plus R. All right. Now, supposedly. There, there was a difference. There's a difference between the DVD plus R and DVD minus R. The DVD plus R burns... The difference is that DVD plus R is burned at a faster rate. They tend to be a little more organized with the burn with the data inside the disc. And supposedly nowadays, more DVD players use the... Uh, I mean, new, more, newer DVD players are more compatible with a plus R DVD. Some people say that the uh, minus R's work better on some DVD players. I don't know, I haven't found much of a difference. I use both, I have both of them. I have tons of both of these things, so I use them differently for different things. But, you really can't go wrong. I just use plus R's because they tend to, I don't know. I had a DVD player that didn't play a minus R one time a couple years ago, and I just stopped buying them. But anyway, today we're going to use a DVD plus R. Right, let's get started. Okay, now, copying a DVD is a simple process. There's two programs involved, uh, DVD Shrink and DVD Decryptor, both of which you need to download and install, but in a certain order. You want to download first in the um, comments, in the comments, um, the description box, go to DVD Decryptor, 
here and download now and install it. Once that's done, you go down to DVD Shrink and you want to go to either Mirror US or Mirror Row, whichever one that is. I just go with the US, download it, unzip it, and install it. Now, once that's done, you want to open up DVD Shrink. From here, you have this this this, this uh, window pop up, and then you put the disk in your DVD drive, and then open disk. Now, whether it pops up automatically or not, find whichever disk you're looking for. Usually, the name of the disk is the on the drive. Click OK. Now, for original disks, what usually happens is that you'll have a little box that pops up, and it'll say I'm "Analyzing." And it takes about well, usually a couple of minutes and a half, two minutes, something like that. And basically, it goes goes to the disk to make sure it works and everything's fine with it, not scratched, nothing like that. Or it's it's readable basically. The thing is, I already tried this disk before, to make sure it works, so mine didn't pop up. It only happens once, and after that, if you put the disk in again, it won't do it again. Anyway, now from here you have. A couple options. Here you see the disk. All right now, up here in the green bar, it's showing that the disk to burn it, it'll take all the full disk. Thing is, original disks are are burned compressed, meaning that there's more data on the disk than the 4.7 gigabytes, but they compress it to 4.7 gigabytes. And the thing is, your DVD drive that you're burning with doesn't have the capability to actually do that. So what it's going to do, it's going to um, rip it to your computer with lesser quality, saying here, and you hear like below video and below automatic, the video I'm burning without alteration will rip to my computer at 6.1, 6, 61.3% of the quality of the, of the original disk, which is not a good thing, but you know, it's, it's only so noticeable. The thing is, there are, way to f there are ways to fix this. If you go down here to audio, you'll see in the full disk here, with this highlighted, that you have all these, all these languages. Well, mine only has English and French. I don't speak French, and I'll never use it. I'll never use French. So if you uncheck this, you see this little, this little bar here move to the right. Now it's 68.1%. And it took away 395 megabytes just by taking this, unchecking this little box here with the French language. Now, not being much, you can still do that. And by doing this, it might, it'll take lesser time to burn and to rip and to burn and things like that. It'll just take a little bit of time away. It'll look a little bit better, but, you know, by taking away something you really don't need, it does make it look a little bit better, I guess you can say. Now, in some movies, if you can go to main movie, there'll be other audios and things like that. In the menu, there'll be other audios, but you don't want to get rid of this because this is the menu sound. And it's only to make up five megabytes will make a difference. Extras sometimes have languages that you don't need that you can uncheck, but again, if they're not bigger than, you know, like 100 megabytes or 50 megabytes, they're really not worth taking away. Now there's also another way to burn these things. I mean, it's a lot faster and it's a lot better quality. If you go here to reauthor, they give you a list of the of the titles in the movie. Now you go to here to main movie. Usually the one you want is the biggest one. You take that and you drag it over to the reauthor DVD DVD structure. And from there you go to compression settings. And you take away whatever languages that you don't want. Leave the t leave the subtitles. They don't make really much of a difference. But with that done, now it's 83.8 percent .8 of the quality of the original DVD, which is a big difference. And you can actually notice this. The only downfall is you don't have the menus or anything like that left to the video. It's only like when you pop when you put it in your DVD player, it'll go right to the movie. And that's all it's going to do. You can still fast forward and everything like that, but all it's going to do is this.